okay? Uh, and like the uh, in like the 60s here, so it's fantastic. We're outside. Uh, this, what we're gonna be showing you is an incredible one-of-a-kind griddle. Um, it's called the uh, the Pro Series from our friends at Blackstone, 22 square inch, uh, 24,000 BTU. This thing is gonna knock your socks off, get comfortable because it's the only item we have in our hour. We have a couple little extra things you can pick up. But I want you to think about it. You know, when you think about food that's being cooked, what's, what is the greatest place that you can go to consistently to get great food, right? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's called a diner. And guess what diners do not have? They don't have barbecue grills inside. All diners use a flat top griddle because they love the sear. They love how fast it is. They love the versatility. They can cook hot dogs, hamburgers, steak, fish, veggies. You ever go to a hibachi place? Ain't no barbecue grill in there. They're using a big giant griddle. Blackstone makes it possible. HSN makes it affordable. At only $70, you can get this home. Uh, the item number is 799817. We're gonna give you a variety of great extras. We're gonna throw in two of the spatulas. We're gonna throw in the scraper, which is your best friend on your griddle. We're gonna give you the squeeze bottles so you can add your sauces as you go. Sale priced, $30 off, $70 on FlexPay. I can't wait to take you on this little trip. Breakfast, lunch. Dinner, dessert, whatever. Taylor Mock is over here. She's gonna join us for the hour. Hi, Taylor. Hey, guys. Breakfast. 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 I know. You know, something <laughs> about like that smell. Yeah. When you walk bacon. in a diner, you said it. I was like, the smell of bacon on a diner griddle is just, it's something. Yeah. So I'm so, so happy um, that Blackstone has come out with such an incredible brand. Uh, you know Blackstone. And if you don't know Blackstone, you're about to because it really has changed my life in the kitchen. You said it, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, I, this breakfast, you you know, you saw me put yeah. everything on the griddle. We, you, I right saw you start started. everything like 10 yeah, minutes so ago. So when we put everything yeah. on the Blackstone, this took about all of five minutes five minutes of hash browns, five minutes for the bacon, and five minutes for the steak. If you are in your kitchen, guy, be honest, I'm sure you have tons of appliances at home that you yeah. use to cook all this stuff. Uh, and I'd have a heck of a time cooking potatoes on my barbecue and grill. And the cleanup, yes! <laughs> you can do right? this on your grill. You can't cook bacon on your barbecue no, grill, okay? that's right. Yeah, you can do steaks, but then you gotta light the whole thing up just for a steak. We're cooking our entire meal here. Everything. Our entire breakfast meal on one surface. That's right. I want to talk about that surface if I can for a sec. Yes. What you've got here is rolled steel. Uh, rolled steel is an amazing, it's extra thick, an amazing Hold metal rolled. to cook on because it seasons over time. It becomes very non-stick. Mm -hmm. That dark color you'll see is what you want. That's and that right. takes a few times of using it. And then you'll see you can cook eggs on your scrambled eggs. You can cook pancakes on a griddle like this, okay? Oh. And you don't, you can't do any of that. Can't do any of that. Can't do any of that on a regular barbecue. Hey, listen, I'm not telling you to throw away your barbecue griddle. If you want to use one, that's fine. What that's I'm right. saying is you'll use this all Every the day. time. Let me, let me tell you, I cook with this, I don't know, five nights a week. This is easy cleanup, guy. This is, this is incredible when it comes to the cleanup. All you got to do is add some water while it's hot. You get your scraper, um, which I love. Scrape off that access to the back. Put some olive oil on it, close the lid, and that's it. That's the cleanup. There's yeah. no washing the dishes. There's no, yep. hey, four or five pots and pans and skillets. No. So um, it's a whole experience and, in itself, and let me, too. And let, let me let everybody know here. Yeah. All right, you can find Blackstone in a bunch of different places, okay? This is the version that has the hood. This is the version that has That's the right. two workstations on either side. Mm -hmm. This is the version, all you need to add is a propane tank. That's it. It comes with a cover, all right? It comes with all the tools. Yep. I mean, if you were to get the cart alone, the cart is 130. You can get a Blackstone blacktop uh, our black stone griddle on mm -hmm. its own yeah. for 200 bucks. Sure. But then we got to carry it wherever you go. And, you know, I, they say they're portable, and I guess you could take it somewhere if you wanted to go camping, but this is the one that lives in your, uh, oh, right yeah. outside on your deck, out on your patio, heat it up, let it go. It heats up faster than a regular barbecue grill. You're going to get that delicious sear. You know, when I, it's funny because when I cook steaks for Danny and me, uh -huh. I'm going to try to flip I this. cook them inside. Uh, in a pan. Yeah, yeah and look. I, I actually like the sear that you get on a flat top. Let me give you an example. I, I accidentally uh, cut this yolk, okay? Yeah. You can actually do omelets on here. So you can actually scramble yeah. up your eggs 
You can do scrambled, you can do an omelet, you can do sunny side up, you can do over easy, over medium, yeah. and there's no stress of it. Hey, so you break I an really egg, love you that. break an egg, who wants scrambled? Exactly. That's all you say. All right, I cannot wait to, to show everybody so this. Good. I'm we got do one sunny, sunny side. side, I like yep. that. A little over easy right. sunny side. Can I do it? Can you guys? I'm gonna hold it up. You ready? It's beautiful. Look it, look it, it's look it. Beautiful. There it is. Thank How you guys. Pretty, right? Look at everything that we just did. That's enough feel. That's enough food. I mean, for I mean, four or five people. At Honestly, least. it's a platter. That's my serving right yes. there. Right? <laughs> it's one That's serving it. I will for eat you. that right there. Well, there's a lot of protein <laughs> I love on it. there. I love it. And then the cleanup. That cleanup right here, baby. So That's I, I it. said this to, Ty, uh, to Taylor before. Uh -huh. Um, I said, you know, it's funny. When I ran restaurants, we had to replace the barbecue grill grates uh -huh. every other year. Oh, yeah. Our flat Easily. top, we never replaced it. Never. In 12 years. It got better. It gets with better. With time and cooking. Yeah. So yes. tell everybody what you're doing. So exactly what I'm doing is cleaning the black stove. So all I'm doing right here was you saw me take this water. I'm going to do it again. By the way, you're getting two of these squirt bottles. You can use one for water, one for oil. I'm putting some water right on the black stone here. By the way, 22 inches across, lots of room. And I'm just using your scraper that you're gonna be getting right here. You see that? Black stone scraper. And you're just gonna scrape the access off to the back. You see all these greases from the bacon that I'm not using? All those goodies. There's a little divot. A little, a little divot towards the back that all of that stuff goes right in there. Yeah, that's, and then, your, that's your little garbage can. And then there it goes, there's yeah. the cleanup. That's it. And I it love gets it. better. Add a little bit of oil when you're done. Yeah, it I gets mean, better every time you use it. Yeah. Remember, we're offering it today with the lid, with the cart, with all the tools. That's why our value is so good and only $70 to get at home. I know that's right. one of the reasons you shop here too because you want one of these. It's almost like a, there's a huge following oh, huge in social following. media yes. on Blackstone and, and what you can make on them and people go crazy for it. I want to go through colors. I haven't done yeah, that yet. you go for it. So I the know one you were black. on. This is the beautiful, well, Honestly, yeah. we're sold out of this. All right, this so black. this. All right, so don't worry about that. We're one. sold I, out of the black. Well, if you like the dark color, we also have that. Yeah. Uh, we also have the um, the gunmetal, right? Or the bronze. 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 Right okay. there. Back there. Yep. And Limited then on slate blue. We have slate blue, which is right over here. Yep. I, I like this. Pretty How many right. Left? 21 left. 20. Oh, if you that's want, gonna go. If you want this one right here. Yeah. 21 left it's in that beautiful. slate blue. It's beautiful. Classy. Uh, back here, is this silver? That's silver. And then back there, that is the gunmetal gray. And then over here, that is the bronze, okay? I like them all. They're all kind of a muted, darker color, which you really want your barbecue to be anyway. Um, we're cooking now on the gunmetal one? Yeah. Gunmetal, yep. So, cheesesteak. Cheesesteak, baby. Doing, you're not doing cheesesteak on a barbecue. Cheese no, they you're not. They're all go through the cracks. Here's right? the thing about the Blackstone guy is that it locks in the moisture, right? It conceals all the juices yeah. that are coming out. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of water here. Here's another option, how to use your, your Blackstone. Yeah, you steam it up. I'm steaming it. You can even close the lid if you wanted to, but if that's just like a, a really great way to steam your vegetables real quick yeah. versus boil the water, do all the things or inside, put, saute them forever on your you, regular skillet. You could you know? throw a little teriyaki on there. Absolutely. You could do, and now, see how we're already getting browning and caramelization? Oh, it's beautiful. And look at the meat. See, you want a little Shave bit of it in here, in here because that's giving you that crust. Absolutely. Oh so I'm going to let gosh. it sit for a second. Yeah, let and it And then go. add a little salt and pepper to my veggies. Let me tell you something about cold rolled steel. This baby right here will stand the test of time. You know what the trick to it is? Hey, just take care of it. Being that you saw me clean up, water, scrape it, add some. Thank you. You're I'm here to help. little sous chef, y'all. <laughs> but that's all you gotta do. Add some oil when you're done using it. Close the lid and hey, I'll see you tomorrow or next week or whenever you feel like getting on your Blackstone next. And we gotta circle back around, guy, to the fact that <laughs> this has such a huge community, a huge oh, yeah. following. It's funny because I was just talking to one of our executives with Blackstone and he was so excited to tell me Blackstone has hit over a billion views that's on me. social media like TikTok. Well, Everybody wants to run a griddle. Oh, Everybody yeah. watches it. So fun. They see it at the hibachi place. They see it at the breakfast diner, and they're like, oh my gosh, look how that looks so much easier so than much trying easier. to squeeze everything into a pan. Can you imagine? You have like, 22 ugh, square inches of, uh, of cooking area in here. And remember, hamburgers, hot dogs, cheesesteak, salmon, 
cod, uh, any kind of fresh fish, eggs, anything, pancakes, hibachi style food, anything that you can. Breakfast, sorry, lunch, I went right and dinner. Camera. Anything you can cook yep. in a pan or on a barbecue grill, you can cook on the flat top. You're going to absolutely love it. All right. So, by the way, the food is available. If you want mm, some of that delicious so salmon, I've got Curtis Stone, 14 count of those wonderful fish fillets. You can choose cod or salmon. Those are wonderful. Did you ever try to do salmon on a barbecue? <laughs> Falls apart. It's a disaster. And yes, I have. It's, it's yeah. stressful. That's all hey, I gotta say, right? Have you guys tried Wolfgang Puck's Wagyu Kobe style burgers? Oh mm. my goodness. We've got those available. You know how expensive Kobe is, you can grab those as well. So our sandwich is starting to come together. Starting Whether you to like together. it a little on the medium rare side yep. or you like it a little more cooked. You're in control. Thank you. Are you are in control. You're in control of your sodium intake. You're in control of what oil you use. Hey, you want to use ghee. Great. You want to use some salted? Thank you. I'm, salt and, I'm the salt and you pepper gotta, guy. Yeah, I know. I know. And it's way over there. And i got to make my way over there and grab right. it. But listen, this is so easy, y'all. You can do it. And I want to mention, I am Gosh. not a chef. I am not a professional griller. You know what I am, guy? I am a mama of a one-year-old. I'm a wife. I love to cook at home. I have no professional title of when it comes to cooking on this Blackstone. And that's why I'm saying anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. I don't want you to be afraid. I want you to Look have at you. fun. Oh my gosh. Now, this is the time where you would add the water and close the lid. Yes, I, okay. you know what? Let's add the water yeah. so we can show that option. So I add it right here on the side. And then we take advantage of the residual steam. There, Boom. we've shut it down. All you gotta do, now look it, she's done and you've made done. two of the most amazing sandwiches. It only um, takes about- Four minutes? Not yeah. even, three and a half minutes. We've got breakfast made. Breakfast and, is and done. And not only that, Taylor, what it is for me, it's the ceremony. Oh, absolutely. I love the, the whole experience. working of a griddle. Do you know, and I never told you this when we had our meeting ahead of time, about two houses ago, I got to build my own kitchen. I had a griddle put in. I had a griddle put in. It was the greatest thing. I used that griddle all oh, the time. Yeah. I would make breakfast, lunch, and dinner on it. It was so much fun. I mean, it's like having oh, your yeah. own hibachi Let's place. Let's check on it. All right, look. Wee. You are good to go. All right, you're gonna have to help me oh, out with this bread, okay? Because yeah, yeah, a little yeah. slippery here on the side. Yeah, By the way, like how awesome is the fact that I toasted those? Did you guys see me toast those buns on here? Did you get to see that? Oh my god! So I toasted the buns. I put them flat side down. You can add a little bit of butter on there for yeah. extra, for extra flavor, flavor. I know. Watch oh, your hands. Team. It's hot. I got you. Hot, hot, hot. It's, I got you. Hot, hot, hot. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Ooh. All right. We gotta show All that. Right. Oh my gosh. Can I? Should we, I just leave it there? We got extra veggies. Hold I on. keep jumping out of the shot. Oh my. What do you want me to do? Yeah, I mean, if your yeah. mouth is not I'm gonna watering. I'm going to pick it up. All right. Wait. There we go. All right. Where Check are you? Check it out. Right in front of me. Beautiful. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Mm. Look. I mean, <laughs> tell me how are beautiful you, that is. Look at this. Are you kidding Woo. me? Look at how delicious that sandwich is going to be. Look at the mushrooms, mm. the peppers. Mm -hmm. You can do things like this. By the way, if you like, um, you know, Mexican food, whatever kind of style food you like, you want to use this thing to do your tortillas. You want to use it to cook your, your any kind of the meat that you're going to put on yep. them. Seafood. Did you ever lose a shrimp in the barbecue? Yes. Sacrilege. Oh, my goodness. Right? And that, yeah, that's a great point. You don't have those great. And you know what I'm talking about when your hair mm. smells like flames, like you're cooking on an outdoor grill? I never have that problem with my black right here, okay? ever. Yes, thank you. Put okay, right again, there. if you're just joining us, I want you to see how easy this is to cook on, but most importantly, how easy the cleanup is. Because let's be honest, okay? I'm a busy mama. I don't got time to so, be out here cleaning I, for hours. Look at this thing. That's right. it. I spray some water. You can put it right in your little your little squirt bottle. You're getting you're getting two of them, okay? Spraying some water. Now this scraper, this is the key. It's industrial steel. Yep. It's going to get all the little bits and pieces it. off the grill. Just like that. Now, Boom. if you're doing a stir fry, incorporate that stuff back in. That'll yes. actually, you're deglazing the grill. Uh, we're going to do that with some fried rice in a little bit, and you'll see yep. how that works. Yep. We are so busy right now. Oh, if yeah. you want the blue, how many left in the slate blue, Kyle? 14 left in slate blue. Hey, if you're a foodie, you know what this is? It's a foodie's mm. dream, right? To oh, have a griddle totally. is a foodie's dream. Foodie's I've always, dream. that's why when I built my dream kitchen, I had them put a griddle in. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta make pancakes. I gotta make this stuff. Oh, yeah. So there's all the colors. Again, um, I'll walk back here. This is the blue, slate blue, about a dozen left, okay? I also have it available in the silver, 
gunmetal, and then I have it in the bronze. I think I would, bronze I'd either beautiful. go for the blue or the, or the bronze. The I bronze, like that gunmetal yeah, or, that, or that bronze color. Yep, honestly, right. you can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong. Nice big cooking area inside. You have dual burners on the front. So if, you, if you're only cooking for yourself or you and your sweetie, just you can use one burner if you yep. really want to, but you can Absolutely. adjust them independently. So if you've got cooked food that you want to keep warm, yep. do that on one side of your grill. And then on the other side, that can be your hot part. Are you making smash burgers? I'm making smash burgers. And you put onions on them? I put, so I'm doing the That's Chicago the style. Yes. This is Chicago style. And what that means is you put very, very thin, 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 like shaved thin onions on the base, the bottom. Then you take your two spatulas, which you're getting, and you're going to squeeze down that. Um, now, obviously, if you would have done this on an open grill, me squeezing all the juices like that, you wouldn't want that. You know why? Because you're losing your juices, you're gonna end up with a dry burger. Ain't nobody want a dry burger. Now, the but key, you're not doing that here with the yeah, Blackstone. Key to a really good smash burger, Get it as do smashed not, as you can. Do not flip it until those onions are caramelized. That's right. And because you want them to crispy. stick. Yeah. And the edges are crispy. Yes. That is like the thing. You want those edges. Add a little bit of butter on the side. $70. You can, do that. You can have this home for 70 bucks. We'll ship it out to you. You don't have to haul it from a store. Yep. Right? We'll ship it out free shipping on this because it qualifies for free shipping. Pay $70 to ship it out. I encourage you to try it. Give it 30 days. I'll tell you this. You use this thing for 30 days, no way you're going to send it back. It's a dream tool. It really I know is. it's not cheap. It's Blackstone. It's top of the line. I would say probably the number one the brand out there when it comes to outdoor griddles. It absolutely is. So if you want to get one yep. home, I know it's a special kind of a tool. It's a wonderful, but once you get into it, Taylor, you're never you're going to use it all the time. All the time. Right? I mean, let's talk about the dual burners, okay? You're yeah. getting you're getting two different sides of your burners. You can control your two different sides here. I have my buns on this side. So if I were to scoot these over a little bit, I can turn this this down to low, keep my burgers on medium high. So I love the fact that we're giving you those two different dual sides. Um, and then I love the fact that it's cold rolled steel, which means this stands the test of time. Look at you. I'm having fun. Thank you. And well, it's that, fun. Taylor, isn't bring that part of it? Bring the family in. Yeah, isn't that part of it? Exactly. You're you bringing have the a good family time? in. Yes. Can you imagine? You're in the kitchen, right? You've got all your burners on, your, your stove, your oven. You're going back and forth. Your grand your grandchild's visiting. Your, your mother's visiting. And yeah. you just don't have time, unfortunately, to have the full conversation oh, you want to. crazy. If you're here on your, your Blackstone, you're like, hey, yeah. mom. Mama, come on over. Let's talk about what the babies did today. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so we are almost at the time to turn. Almost. What Not you want to do when you do turn this burger, Ooh, look at that caramelization. get that spatula under quick. Yes, like, quick. And then zip it right underneath so you make sure you get all those onions. And they'll, most of them, the majority, will be oh, stuck yeah. to the back of that burger. That's right. And Ooh, then my suggestion, mm -hmm. mustard, ketchup, pickles. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, lettuce. Do you not like lettuce? I, you can put whatever you want, but I, I, I like, like it all. I like it to. I don't like the burger to be big. I like my smash burger to be a little more like a cookie burger. Okay, I, that's just yep. me. No, I do too. And honestly, if I didn't have these onions underneath for Chicago yeah. style, you can get these babies like paper. Oh thin. yeah, you smash so them if out. you go to those, you know, fast food chains, yep. and you're that's what you're getting. You're getting like a super, super, super thin patty, but it's something about that taste. Look at how good these. It's look. not the right. same. Taylor, come on. Maybe. Should we try? Do Should we one. Try? Get under there. Do all one. Right. For us. Watch. Woo! Not Look at quite that. done. It's not quite done. But That's okay, for, but for it, timing we'll purposes, it. we want you to see how it goes. You can wait if you want. I just, yeah, let's I, come I'm back just, to this. I'm so impatient. We're gonna, we're gonna let him go. All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna come over here. How much time do we got? Well, we're gonna take a break in just a bit. Okay. But I because we're gonna, okay. you know, we're gonna get our get our grills going yeah. again and, and move on to some other different food. Um, but I want you to get it home. Remember, it's seventy dollars. The item number is seven nine nine eight one seven. You want to make somebody happy for Easter. You got the summer. Uh, springtime's here. Summer's coming. Mm -hmm. Cook outdoors. Hey kids, we're making breakfast. Come on outside. How much fun would that be? So if you want to get it, seven nine nine eight one seven. We are going to step away, but I want to remind everybody, we are doing HP Month on HSN.com. Five flex on everything. All right. So if you need a printer, you need a computer tablets, whatever it is, we've got it over there, and you can take advantage of some great savings and some great flex pay. All right, we are going to reload, restock, get you one of these beautiful Blackstone griddles. We'll be back in a minute. We're cooking here live. HSM, be right back. Hi, everybody. It's Denise Austin, and I've been helping millions of people stay in great shape for over 40 years. 
Helping women aspire to be healthy, active, and vital has always been a passion of mine. I am so excited to be part of the HSN family. You know why? I get to inspire you. We are going to get fit together. Join fitness expert Denise Austin to live ever better. Because you are worth it. Food is my obsession. Cooking is my life. At hsn.com, discover online cooking demonstrations to help you spice it up in the kitchen. Who wouldn't love you for that? Explore, watch, and shop all of our top chefs at hsn.com. It's time to lose those layers and get a jump start on spring. HSN is welcoming the season with an entire day dedicated to brightening your home. Spruce up inside with decor that will refresh your entire space. And get everything you need for outside to get your garden into full bloom. It's time to pack away the old. And make room for new must-haves you'll love. Don't miss our spring home and garden event all day Friday on HSN and HSN.com. There's no better time to add one more item to your bag. Shop more and ship smart at HSN. Now you'll never pay more than $5.95 to ship your entire order and get free shipping when you spend $75 or more. For details, search shipping and authorization at hsn.com. everybody i'm guy this is taylor we are having so much fun here with our blackstone griddle if you want to get one of these we are doing an incredible value because not only are you going to get the griddle and the cart and the hood mm -hmm. and a cover we're going to throw in two of those professional quality spatulas and the scraper and two of the squirty bottles so you get everything that you're going to need to be able to utilize your your grill all you need to do is add your propane tank that is it the regulator is included four hundred dollar value we're dropping the price down to about 60 bucks today for you to be able to get it home. It's only $70 on FlexPay. I said it before, you know, I dreamt of having a griddle in my kitchen forever, but it was kind of price prohibitive. I finally built a house where I had some control and I could build my kitchen and I put a griddle in. I don't have that house anymore. I will tell you, I miss that griddle so much. I used to be able to do breakfast, pancakes, bacon, mm. nothing falling through the cracks. I get that great sear. If you love seafood, salmon, a fish, a cod, anything like that, sear it on the grill. It doesn't fall through the cracks. Veggies don't fall through the cracks. Shrimp. I'm not telling you to ditch your barbecue. If you like barbecue, that's a great smoky taste once in a while. But you probably don't use your barbecue that much. You can do hot dogs, hamburgers, mm -hmm. burgers, fish, oh, yeah. seafood of any kind. You can do veggies, pancakes, any kind of meat, poultry, chicken, whatever. We've already done cheesesteak sandwiches. We did smash burgers, which yep, are almost burgers. done. I'm going to watch the burgers back here. Yeah, I just checked on Taylor them. is... Become a hibachi <laughs> chef, everybody. Hibachi. Taylor Welcome. the hibachi chef. Welcome to Taylor's hey, restaurant. can't make that on a barbecue grill. You absolutely can. Can you imagine, like, oh, my goodness, the mess, the rice everywhere. Yeah, you can't. There's just, you know what? There's a, there's a, a bunch of things you can do on a regular, uh, you know, fired-up grill, so to speak. But there is a thousand things that you can't do that you can do on a Blackstone. Like, how fun is this stir-fry? Okay. You know, I mean, guy, you know, how expensive is it when you go to hibachi? Come on, yeah. 200 bucks at least. Oh my gosh, 50 bucks a person. At least. No doubt, I, my son loves hibachi. You can't, the, the, the dinners themselves start at 20, 25, 30 dollars. Oh, easy. And that's if you're just getting like chicken and shrimp. If that, you go I was lobster, just gonna say that. If you go anything bucks. fancy with seafood, oh, forget about it, are you kidding me? And so this is the experience that you get with Blackstone. Have your family be involved. It truly is so much fun. Oh. Yeah, look at these burgers. They're ready to look go. Look at that. All right, let's plate them up. Here, go ahead. You want to use that? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, and Put then one right here. Just, if you're just tuning in with us, we decided to do Chicago style uh, look at burgers. Those burgers. Not Chicago style look at hot these dogs. Burgers. You got to do the smash. So we got to add the cheese now, real yeah, quick. Yeah, put cheese on I them. I just want to show cheese on you. them too? Yep. 
All just right. like this. I'm gonna close the lid, because remember, you can use yeah, your on, lid. A little... little steaming, add a little water, steam that cheese down, we'll add it, make a double burger. That's what we want, right? Okay, so over here, I'm gonna actually grab my soy sauce okay. way in the corner. Add a little soy sauce to this rice. Now, Let little tip. What you're doing. Oh, look at this. And you probably know this, Mr. Oh. Chef, yourself, but if you cook your rice about seven hours in advance or the day before, yeah. put it in the refrigerator, you Less can add calories. it to Yes. Less carbohydrates. Absolutely. I know that little trick. I was about to, I'm like, you know you know this I think trick. it actually comes out better as well. Absolutely. The starches change when you cook them and then Very refrigerate so. them. Yes. And it's much, it's, it, it's, it's a, a whole different It's a good percentage game. less carby in your rice because I love rice. Oh, yeah. And usually you can't have it when you're, you know, if you're on a sure. carby diet, but if you, if you chill it, cook it and chill it. Oh my gosh, look, look at what this. you're doing. Okay, look, dual burners. This is the amazing thing about a Blackstone, is the dual burners, okay? I can turn this side up on medium high. I can turn this side up on high for my fried rice. Look at you. Look at Got that you. cheese. Yeah, look at the How cheese. beautiful. Yep. And the thing about it is if you live on your own, you can just fire it up for one burger. It's a whole different story when you're firing up a, yeah. an actual grill with flames. Oh my gosh. That's like a hassle. We talked about this earlier. Do you it's mind if I... So Absolutely. You guys mind if I eat? Go for it. We have so much food here. I wish you right, guys can come and hang out with us. Enjoy this experience. Can you see it? This is what I'm taking. I'm not even putting Look ketchup on this. I'm going right in. You're going right there in? There it is. It's juicy one. All right, you ready? And by the way. Oh, okay. look at that. Here we Ooh, go. You're going to need a whole get, towel gotta, after I gotta this. I got to get the hunch. <laughs> we need a towel. <laughs> Forget the napkin. What do you think? So good, right? I almost said a bad word. <laughs> it's so That's good. That's when you know it's good. It's so yes. good. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love and it. I'm not missing any like barbecue. I am getting a sear. I'm getting juice. Oh yeah. You get that caramelization from the griddle itself. From so, the, the flavor. You see how much juice fell between me? Did you see that, Tony? I said, oh, look at that. Yeah, I left That's a, a lot of juice. <laughs> Tony's right. gotcha. I'm going in one more time. Do it. And while you're, you're going in one more time, let's again talk about the ease of a Blackstone. There is virtually no cleanup other than just add Look some water. Look at drippy. you. I love that. And Look then it scrape it off. How fun. Wow. God, my shrimp is almost done over here, guy. Oh, my God. I really hope you're hungry, hungry. Don't eat all that burger. I didn't eat today. Nothing. Okay. All right. I haven't I'm eaten I'm just all saying, day. I, got, I mean, I, I could feed a family of 20 out here, really. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, here we go. I'm going to mix up my shrimp and my rice. Look how beautiful. Okay, I about time myself on this one. This took about two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes that I made this beautiful shrimp stir fry. Hibachi style, fried my Look rice, it. have my shrimp on here. So easy. My family is over here right behind me going, oh my goodness, mom, how cool is that? And I'm gonna plate this and then I'm gonna. Oh know, my gosh, look what you did. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. I know, here, I'm gonna actually put it on. Put this. it on a gigantic I need, platter. I know, I'm like, where's here, all let me my hold. giant? You got Slate it? Slate Blue just sold out. All right, Slate all Blue right. is gone. Let's go. All right, all right darling, I'm right under you. Woo! Go ahead. Look at that. Oh, you're gonna need, we're gonna, we're gonna need a bigger boat. I mean, goodness. <laughs> now Look that's the thing, this is 22 inches across, by the way. So think about the amount of food you can put on here. You are running out, I think you can get a little bit more. I think I can. On this end. Absolutely I can. And Look, then remember. And then just do a little, ooh, Yeah, at the end of the day, ooh. all you do is scrape everything off. That's it. Into that little tray like in I the said, back. Like I said, add water. Because naturally, Dude. let's think about this, your grandmother's like cast iron skillet, right? It's very similar to that. So you, you're getting those flavors. We call it food memory in Blackstone. The, the, the steel of it actually locks in those flavors. Mm. And over time, you cook more and more and more and more, it's gonna taste Dude. better so and better. Good. And it's always better right. with a Blackstone. Where am I gonna put this? We have so much Okay, food. here, Let, let's, let's, uh, right. let's put it over here. Put it over there, we'll have like our done pile Goodness. over there. Yeah, our done Let pile Let me remind everybody. Okay. I cleaned this one up already. And you saw it took two minutes to get that one clean. You did, it's and beautiful. it'll take two minutes it. to do this. Yep. I encourage you to get it. It's so show you much something. fun. It's more, way more fun than a regular barbecue. Oh yeah. All right? Because you can cook anything on it. And you're actively preparing. It's, it's like right. a show. It's like why you go to hibachi places, mm -hmm. right? And you can do that at your own house. If you get it today, 
we drop the price to $349. Only $70 on your credit card. We take every type of credit card. If you want it really right. quick, see that little code at the bottom there at the, uh, of the uh, little label right there? That's called the QR code. All you do is take your phone or your tablet, pop up your camera, face it towards it, it'll lock it in, take you right to HSN, you can order it right away. If you want it, I have three colors left. I have it in silver, I have it in, I have it in gun metal, mm -hmm. which is a deeper gray, and then I also have it in that bronze, which is the one I like. The value, you would pay $100 just for the cart. Oh yeah. $200 just for the, the griddle. Extra for every, the cover. You're getting spatulas. You're getting the whole kit, so when you get this home, add your propane tank and go to town. And remember, T Taylor will tell you, mm -hmm. this Blackstone griddle gets better every time. and better every time every you use it, because it seasons, it's, and it becomes nonstick. It's amazing. Yep. We, we literally, at Blackstone, we call it food memory. Food yeah. memory. All right, so what about this? It's a busy weeknight. This is me, okay, on the weeknight. I am exhausted. I'm, I've been busy all week. I have my one-year-old baby. I have my husband. I have my 17-year-old stepson who eats like a horse. I mean, honestly, like, I feel like I'm constantly, constantly yeah. cooking because oh, I hear you, it's just so much. It's just so much. So the Blackstone has given me that opportunity, right, um, to basically either do more or do less when it comes to cooking. And what I mean by that is have control how much food I'm cooking when I need it on my time. All right, I'm gonna flip back here. All right, here we go. This is like so exciting for oh, me. Oh yeah. I, I feel like I've mastered it, but then you're I don't want to say I mastered it. You're doing an onion volcano. Like, Are you gonna do an onion volcano yes. for me? An onion volcano. You know when you go to Hibachi and they're like, ooh, let, let me show you something real cool. I'm okay. stepping back. You've got your onion. You, you might want to step back on this I'm one. All right, I'm all right. I'm gonna add my 151. And watch, watch, just watch. like that, you are like the coolest mom, the coolest grandmother, the coolest grandfather out there. Because everybody who's experiencing this with you outside, I mean, you, you can't get over it. Like, how cool is that? Oh my gosh. Come and then now. remember, once that extinguishes, then you just chop up your onions and add whatever else you want to put in there, And that's right? it, just like that. And you will absolutely love getting this home, all right? It is so worth it. You know, people sit there and they think, well, how much can I cook on a griddle? Have you been to a diner? Yep. Any diner in this country, one big flat top griddle. Yeah, they got a toaster, coffee machine, all that other stuff, right? But they're cooking everything on a griddle. They're cooking their hot dogs and hamburgers, their smash burgers, they're cooking cheese steaks, they're cooking eggs, pancakes. Anything you would cook in a pan or outside on a, on a barbecue, you can cook uh, on, your, on your Blackstone. But okay? a thousand more things. Yeah, and not only that, because you're searing, you are getting more flavor. Yeah. I have always said, you know, it's funny, yep. people will take a fancy piece of beef, and they'll put it on a barbecue, and about 30, 40% of that juice is going down into the coals. Oh, yeah. And it's like, you end up with dry, if you tasteless sear it, food. the best steakhouses in New York City, they either use a broil or they use, or they sear it. Or they sear it. All right? Right. And, and now listen, if you want Look ribs Ooh, and you pretty. want pork shoulder, hey, get a smoker, get a barbecue. I get all that. Uh huh. But for the bulk of your, Meals. Look this at, is what I cook breakfast, look, lunch, and dinner. Hey Dan, on. how close can you get to that squash? Look at the caramelization. That Let's move these burgers so we can yeah. get a full view. Look at the caramelization that we're getting. So on, pretty on this squash. I mean, yep. look at not how nice and brown and golden. I and like remember, to add a little flavor. soy sauce. You can yeah. do low sodium here. Again, you're in control of your food. This is all flavor. You almost don't even need to add anything. You can add a little oil and salt and pepper. And honestly, the food, the flavors that a Blackstone extracts is unlike anything else. All right, I'm gonna flip one of these just to kind of show you here how that crisp happens. Yeah, look. Um, honestly, I would leave these on for a little bit longer. I just Me want too. you to see. Oh, they're, looking, they're looking okay. They're looking pretty oh, good. Yeah, oh, that, that one. one. Ooh, see, that's leftover onion we didn't scrape that's my off. Bad. But hey, that's all about the flavors. <laughs> it's not going to hurt you. That's all about the flavors right. of a Blackstone. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave these babies just kind of cooking on this yeah. back. They're a little bigger. Okay, again, if you're just joining us, I want to talk about the difference between a Blackstone griddle and your regular fire up the grill with the flames going everywhere. Totally, totally different. This is allowing you to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner on your time quick, yeah. precisely how you want it. This is easy cleanup. This is two, two different sides that you're cooking with. Yeah, I like the fact that you've got one burner a on little bit lower, lower because we've already cooked the veggies. Searing the pork on medium high Searing here. Searing the pork on a little bit of a higher temperature. Yep. You, it's very difficult to get that control on a barbecue. All right, because you have flame 
tough to control flame. Yes. Okay, especially if you've got grease going down yep. in there and all your juice. And I will tell you this too, pork is one of the most difficult, challenging pieces of meat to Bigger cook. Bigger platter. It oh, doesn't yeah. have a lot of fat. Yes. It dries out very oh, easily. If you cook a pork chop, out on a regular barbecue, it's more than likely going to be dry. Oh, more Here, than likely, we're absolutely. Searing. All the juices come yeah, down. Yeah, so we're going to get that nice pink, uh, well cooked pork, but nice and pink and juicy on the inside. Yep. Because we cooked it the right way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plate these squash and zucchini. Okay. And here, this is also another idea you can have fun with it. Add some shredded Parmesan on top. Close the lid for extra added flavor. You can absolutely add some teriyaki sauce to this. Um, and this is where you're, again, you're in control of what you're eating. So you can do ghee, ghee butter. Go ahead. Oh, that's a good one. You that know it is. That was my favorite one. That you was, know I'll it lose is. it. So I, I don't know if you one. can see, Dan, but this is what I was talking about. Dang, that's hot. Yeah, so this hot. is Be what careful. I was talking about with that. Basically what it's called, I won't get too techy on you, is a Maillard reaction, which basically the proteins caramelize, sugars, you get that great, almost um, like reduced flavor, you know what I mean? It, mm -hmm. It's very good, tasty. Look at the color on the pork chops, mm -hmm. that's all that, that browning we talked about. And then I'm gonna eat this one, just to make sure, yeah. you know, that it's cooked okay. All right, mm. see now. So be careful, it's hot. No, I'm all right. And it puts off some heat, it Let me puts tell you off some heat. Leave you want your kids to eat longer. your veggies? Do them like that. Oh, yeah. Kids don't want boiled vegetables or steam. They want nice cooked vegetables, and those are perfect. Absolutely. Oh and it's fun, right? It's fun. I'm leaving this, um, this pork chop's not done quite yet, but okay. Come on over with me. Come on over with me. Let's think outside the box. And again, if you're just joining us, welcome to the Blackstone community. Welcome to the Blackstone family. When I say family, you're not just purchasing this Blackstone griddle, you're purchasing a family with it because yeah. we got a whole community. I want everybody look to look and see how juicy this Beautiful. is. Beautiful. And let me tell you, I'm gonna take a bite out of this one. I'm glad this knife is sharp. There you so go. you can see right there yep. how perfectly cooked that pork is. And I don't know, it's a small piece, but do you see how juicy it is inside there? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Here we go. Perfect. Is it good? Yes. It's delicious. That's the best feeling. When you're oh when God. you are cooking at home and your family, just like Guy said, wow. Guy is my family, he is saying, oh my goodness, it's delicious. There is no greater feeling than knowing you're providing an amazing home-cooked meal for whether it's your brother and sister-in-law coming to visit, your grandbabies at home, or your kids. It's the best feeling in the world. And again, I am not a professional chef. I am not a professional griller. You know what I am? I'm a mama. I'm a wife. I'm somebody who loves to cook. I'm somebody who loves to be able to interact with my family and not be in the kitchen by myself cooking, feeling like I'm missing out on all the fun things. This is something that you can use all year round. Don't just think of it as like grilling. I say grilling, because it's not a grill. Don't think of it as like, yes, grilling griddle season. Think of this as, hey, it's a Wednesday night. Tonight's Wednesday night, okay? I'm tired. I do not want to whip out my two skillets. I don't want to whip out, I don't want to boil my noodles, then take out all the skillets, then do all this. This is what I'm gonna do tonight, okay? I chopped up some chicken. I diced some chicken, okay? Let's get this tomato out of here. I put some chopped asparagus, a couple of uh, beautiful hab cherry tomatoes, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. I'm cooking my chicken here. Guess what I'm gonna do? You're never gonna believe it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to make <clears throat> a homemade chicken Alfredo pasta on my black stove. No, you're not. Yes. No, you can't. You can't do that on a grill, you like can't. a normal flamed grill. Can no. you imagine? So that is the beauty of a Blackstone. It can do everything a grill can and a thousand things yeah. a grill can. And you can actually see, we're using a gas. This is a gas burner, not electric. You don't plug this in and wait for yeah, it to right, heat up. Right. We have instant heat. That's why we get the great sear because we've got 24,000 BTUs. Yep. If you get one of these and it's 16 or 18,000 BTUs, it's not gonna be the same. You're not gonna get that mm -mm. browning that you right. need, okay? Right. And remember, you can always add a little bit of fat. Once it's seasoned, you don't have to. I always like to treat the grill with oil. Yeah. It's not. It's negligible. You're not pouring a gallon of oil on it. Right. That, okay? And allow that reaction to occur where you get that beautiful browning. 
Look at how beautiful this is mm. gonna be with chicken asparagus Christmas. and fresh tomatoes. Isn't that so pretty? Chicken. Yeah, I got my chicken. So you can see my pasta. Look, I got like rigatoni pasta on the oh, side you're here. Me today. Pre cook your pasta. Hey, you wanna make it easier? <laughs> Buy the pasta that's already cooked. If yeah. you really wanted yeah, to make yeah. your life easier, Buy yourself some, hey, if you wanted to, some jarred Alfredo sauce, some hey, jarred marinara. I mean, know, I'm are, just thinking of a like, busy mom life. There are me. two or three <laughs> fantastic brands of jarred sauce. Trust me, I, yeah. ja I jazz them up a little bit. I add, sometimes I add a little wine, a little sugar, whatever. But there are tons of great sauces that will enable you to concentrate on cooking the food mm -hmm. and not making all the sauces and all that. You know, be creative. Have some fun. It doesn't take totally. much. You know, you want to take any, almost any jarred red sauce on the market, add a little bit of balsamic vinegar and a little bit That's of sugar. That's what I yeah. do. Oh, and olive oil. And Put olive, olive oil, oil in there. absolutely. And water and shake it up. Yeah. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I just made my own sauce. And right? everybody's going to think you made your own sauce. And you it's technically can say you made your own because you kind of did. You're 100% on I'm that. I'm just saying. I know. <laughs> okay, I added some salt and pepper on there. Again, if you are just joining us, I want to, again, talk about the community of Blackstone. Right now, I guarantee you, we've got... Uh, I would say just from the Blackstone community, maybe like 4,000 people listening in because they're so supportive. They're amazing in everything. Go on social media platforms. We have them all over from YouTube to TikTok, over a billion views of different recipes. I mean, every every social media platform you can think of, of people who just adore uh, their Blackstone and they also adore the community behind Blackstone. And so that's what I want to get out there. Do not feel like you're alone in this journey. Do not, do not feel like this is too challenging for you, please. I want you to know that you can do this. You can do this. The person who's not known for to be the cook in the family, okay? You can do this, I hey, promise you. I wanna show you that pork chop you put over here. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little oil I'm bringing to it over. Chicken. Look at how Ooh, that's perfectly cooked that yeah. pork chop is. Ooh, yeah. It's juicy. It's not overdone. Mm -hmm. All right, I would hold it up to show you how ju you can see the juice that's on that spatula. Look at how perfectly cooked that oh, is. Yeah. And a lot of people will be like, I don't know how to cook pork. Get yourself the right tools. And I'm going to put this back over here and continue to focus on what uh, yep. Taylor's doing. Look, I'm turning down my veggies because my chicken's still cooking and my veggies yeah. are just about right. I'm going to... Remember, dual burners. I'm gonna turn down this right side knob to low. I'm gonna keep my chicken on medium high and I'm gonna come right back to this, okay? So I want you to know you are in control of both sides. I'm actually gonna head over you know, here. And you know something, Taylor? Yeah. This is not hard to do, honestly. Not at all. And I love no. the fact that you tell everybody you're not a chef. I'm not. You don't have Far to be. From if it. you can, if you got two hands and you can do that uh -huh. or that. Oh, let's clean this You can together. utilize this, okay? You don't need any special knowledge. No, and I will tell you, Barbecue is different. Barbecue is harder, all right? You have an uncontrolled flame coming through the grates. Food can fall through the grates. Hard to figure out a uh, temperature. You can't do that on a, on a grill, all right? Can't make pancakes, can't make scrambled eggs. Bacon, can't do that. You put right. bacon on a grill, it's gonna be burnt in 30 seconds. That's it. It's gonna catch on <laughs> fire, all right? That's it. Veggies, can't do that. Salmon, falls apart. Asparagus, falls through the cracks. Oh yeah. Rice, I mean, all these things. And yes, you can still do burgers and steaks and hot dogs and all that sure. fun stuff. In fact, are you gonna do the, are you gonna do tacos? Maybe. You are my friend. You are my <laughs> best friend. I told, I told him, I said, guy, please, please come hungry. Because when I say have a shoe of eat. food, I had, you know what I had? I had a cereal bar that big that they gave me when I got here. Okay, so well, ready, here, here's the deal. We've been on about 45 minutes with, with Blackstone, okay? Yeah. In that 45 minutes, what, what have we made? We've made Philly <laughs> cheesesteak. We've made Chicago-style smash burgers. Two. I've made a whole shrimp stir-fry experience. Giant. I have made a huge breakfast. I'm yeah. talking the steak, the bacon, bacon. the eggs, yeah. the hash what, browns. Hey, and not, what and else not, have we done? Not four pans to make breakfast. And, and yes. a bowl. No, I don't, you don't have and to do that. And the cleanup is a gif. Yeah. I'm actually going to scooch right here in front go of you. Honey, I've go got ahead. this big go platter. You do go. we see how big this platter is? Okay. Go this ahead. is like to serve a boatload of people, and that's what we're going to need. Thank you, my little sous chef. And hey, oh, if yeah. you're just joining in with us, you're ready. I got to say, I got to say, Guy is the best host to be with when it comes to outdoor grilling because the man has your back, okay? He's got your back when it comes to being Do you want me to, to combine or no? Or do you want to go? I'll so let you go. A, here, you go let, well, let me just show you how easy it yeah. is. So you are, you know, Mr. Chef. Well, okay, I'm actually going to scoot this over with my veggies, okay? And it's not sacrilegion because these are about done, okay? All right, so I'm going to 
add a little oil. Are you going to do the pasta right on there? Watch me. Oh my gosh, this is going to be Watch cool. Watch me. So when you thought... Cooked if, noodles. If you didn't think you could do pasta on there? You can't do this on a Cook them ahead of time. Now, by the way, this could also be rice. You could put whatever, whatever totally. kind of a yep. pasta. We just did that. Whatever you want to put on there, okay? Ready? But we're heating Homemade sauce. spinach Alfredo sauce. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is all illegal. You Would shouldn't be doing you any of this. just believe oh that? Oh my gosh. Can you imagine, like, doing this in your kitchen? How would the cleanup be? I mean, it would be a disaster. I would be stressed out because the baby's over here eating yeah. in her high chair crying, and I'm over here like, hold on, hold on. I gotta get all this together. I, I got this, I got the noodles boiling. I got I got my asparagus in one uh, skillet. I, I got my I got my chicken outside on the grill. Oh I mean, God. it's Look a disaster. That. It's it's stressful. When it comes to Blackstone, why do you think we have this huge community? Who Look just, it. The color. Just jives together. Yes. And they're like, hey, why don't you guys try this? Right. This is actually from a, uh, this idea is from a busy mom like me. She's a mom of three kids. Oh my God. She said, my kids, they're just, they're not big eaters. It's really hard for me to cook every day because um, they're just so picky. So I decided to try this Blackstone journey. I've heard so much about it. I can cook for my kids on their breakfast, lunch, and yeah. dinner, grilled cheese sandwiches. They love grilled cheese sandwiches. Then she said, I'm gonna try pasta. And this is how it came about. Really? I mean, you saw me. I basically uh -huh. heated up yep. the the um, sauce and just the noodles, just, I mean, look a, at the a colors. hint for, look at for the, enough look to get it Look at the beautiful colors of Italy. Oh my Lord. Oh yeah, I'm Keep getting going. rigatoni okay. everywhere here. And remember, all we're gonna do is rinse it with water. That's it. Scoop up the That's extra. It. Don't we have some like, we have some stray HSN cats or dogs around here? Because oh they're going to be really, well, they're going to be really happy out here on the patio tonight. We got some, we got some, we got some <laughs> raccoons back here. Maybe. Oh goodness, those HSN All right, raccoons. All right, don't miss those little bits All of right. asparagus. Okay. Yeah, we can't miss this stuff. So you saw me, I cooked asparagus, okay. tomato halves. Look at that. You ready? Oh, do it. Do Final the Parmesan. Final touch, you got the shot, Daniel. That's you ready it. for this? I got to get out of the way for this one. We're going to get it. Not getting it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Takes them a little while. We want to make we sure go. we're prepared. All right, you ready? Cheese. Oh, look at it. How beautiful is that? All right, that? fork. Fork. You got to get the fork. You want to try I, I want to try it with you. Yeah, I yeah. I got you too. Let's do this. Go ahead. Okay. But I want to kind of get like a little bit yeah, of Yeah, I want a chicken. I want some chicken you know, too. So watch this. Chicken, I'm going to go, some... I'm gonna go here. Yep. Here. There. And I'm going to go a little tomato. Okay. Ready? It's going to be hot. It's all right. We're going to burn our mouths here. Okay. Mm. That might be the best thing we've eaten so far. I think so. <laughs> yeah. so I don't know, that I mean, burger was good. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I'm stuffing my it's face It's amazing, like I love it, I love now, it. clean up, again. Let me show you, go for it. Ready? Oh, it's got a little let me turn it. Up, let me turn up the, Yeah. there you go. Add a little water. It's gonna steam up a little bit, so you wanna kinda walk away a little bit. Yep, and so all, obviously you've got sugars in your sauces, right? Sugars are so good, fats are so good for this black stone because it's like your grandma's cast iron skillet, essentially, right? Um, you are basically keeping, you're savoring the flavor. I'm gonna wipe off my, yeah, my little ahead. spatula. Yeah, go You got a quick. scraper, right? Yeah, I do, okay. I got a scraper, but I wanna show you how easy it is, okay? So you can use these if you wanted to, but this is why we try to make your life easier. We give you a scraper, and I'm just gonna scrape off the excess, okay? So all your fats, all your oils, all your goodies that have been, you know, burnt up a little bit. Look, leftover asparagus. Push them all to the back. Hey, you missed a spot over there. But I missed a spot. I missed a spot of asparagus. That's right. I should have put that in. I'm mocking Taylor Mock. Oh, I love it. I'm eating while she's cleaning. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Because that's what it, the Blackstone's about, right? It's about savoring the moment with the family, enjoying where you're wow. at, where you're at, when you're at, who you're with. All Breakfast, right. lunch, dinner. Time lunch. to think about it. Got to make a decision. Yep. Here's what I tell you. For 70 bucks, get this home. Try it out. You're going to love it. All you need is a propane tank. We're going to give you the grill, the hood, the, the cart. Everything comes with it. Uh-huh. All right? It's not separate. A lot of times you go, y'all, I got to buy this, I got to buy that. We're going to give you all that. We're going to give you a, a cover mm -hmm. so you can cover it in bad weather. We're going to give you the spatulas, two of those, heavy duty, restaurant spatulas, not little cheap, fake, you know, crappy ones. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you the industrial scraper. That's how you clean. Two bottles, squeegee bottle, clean with water, and another one to be able to oil it. As far as maintenance, at the end of the day, scrape everything off. Water it, get it dry, 
put a little bit of oil. I would use vegetable oil, don't use olive oil. Use just a regular bed canola oil, something like that. Mm -hmm. Rub it on the grill. If you want, if it's cold, you can put a towel over that. But otherwise, just shut it, put the cover on, and wait till the next time you use it. Couldn't be any easier. We are going, all right, say that again, Kyle. Silver, gunmetal, or bronze is all that we have left. We've already sold out of the, the blue. Two colors. But Black. when you look at the amount of food, that pasta you just made, Taylor, wow. that would feed I mean, what, eight people, six easily. to eight people. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah. a ton of food. Oh, yeah. All right? So when you sit there and you say, well, what would I have people over? I, I mean, I, I'm used to having my barbecue grill. You can make every bit as much food. You can make it faster. And you can make food you would never make on your grill. Right. We would never do pasta on the grill. We would never do uh, what you're doing right there, which is the, the filling for tacos. Yep, I'm making carnitas. How would you carnitas. do that? You'd right. have to put you a pan can't... on your grill. Oh yeah, it's a hassle, honestly. Like, when I tell you, listen to me, when I tell you Blackstone has absolutely changed my life in the kitchen, I should say it's changed my life on my patio. How about that? Because I spend such a great amount of time with my family now especially with this blooming spring. I mean, it is just getting so beautiful. Hey, we're here in Florida. I know there's some, some of you all there who are witnessing the snow, but guess what? That's okay, because the time's gonna come when you're gonna say, I really, really wish I had my Blackstone because I could do this, I could do that. And it's no fuss, no mess, no hassle. This, again, is an experience. This is easy. Okay, carnitas. I took already leftover pulled pork I had because I had pulled pork in my crock pot. What? I took leftover pulled pork, what? I chopped some onions, I put them on here, letting yeah. them saute for a minute. I've got my little corn, um, little street taco tortillas. I'm gonna add them, add some fresca. Yeah. And let me tell you, and this is a heat, quick we're dinner. we're gonna heat those right on the, on yep. the, on the griddle? Yep. Oh my gosh. This is, this is like a super, super quick dinner. And guess what? I'm gonna, watch me. All right, I'm gonna put this on like medium right now. And it's still sizzling. Now it's we're gonna heat sizzling. up our tortillas. I already added my oil on here, okay? I want you to watch this. This is literally me at night. I'm thinking, okay, <laughs> I don't have a lot of time for dinner. Like, right. this well, is. Well, and you know what? Budget. This is a budget meal. You oh. make a lot of food yes. for a lot of people without a lot of money. Okay, here's another thing. Again, if you're joining us, I want you to know Blackstone, we are the leaders when it comes to this amazing cold rolled steel flat top griddle. Um, we've been doing this a long time, and we have this community that's behind yeah, us who yeah. loves Blackstone. They're sharing their recipes. Go on our social media. Uh, they talk about this very recipe here, and uh, the busy individuals are like, hey, here's an idea. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. And, See, and you the, can do that. What is that? That's we, mussels? Doing, we, they're doing like a bouillabaisse base right on the top there, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Add some wine. Do a little bit of white uh, wine. Oh, there's a smash, smash burger. burger. Look at that. Look at that beauty. I it's mean, dream food. I tell you, it's a foodie's it dream. Is. Absolutely. This, this, this type of cooking is a dream for a foodie because they always wish they had their own diner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Oh. You always want to open up a diner? Open one up in your backyard. <laughs> I was and you just going to say, open you, it up hey, in your backyard. Can you think about, can you imagine this, Taylor? I know now Ooh. that your family has been growing. Yeah. You know, when you've got a family and they all come over for Easter brunch. Uh huh. Can Which you they imagine be. having this out there? Oh, I already planned Easter? my menu. Like, yeah. I'm already, I'm already planning my menu because this year I have the baby and you know the family wants yeah, to come yeah, over busy, and hang out. Mama. I already know that I'm gonna be on the back patio with my Blackstone, a yeah, little yeah. mimosa or something like that. I'm just sure. saying, enjoying it. Okay, and here I am. I'm gonna be making leftover ham. I'm gonna do um, ham, sam ham and cheese sandwiches on here. Yummy, yummy. So that's just an idea you can do. Um, again, I'm making carnita street tacos. So I just took my leftover pulled pork I had in the crock pot. Can't do this on a barbecue. The night before. Nope, you can't. Can't do it. And then I'm just, I just got those little bit of onions in there for extra flavor. Love you it. got my queso fresco, you right? You want me to do that? Yeah, you well, can let's absolutely. Let's do half queso, half cheddar. How about that? So we'll do some queso there on you here. Go. And by yeah, the way, a bit more. get handsy with your food. I mean, this is what people, this is what real food well, is like. Well, this is the experience, you All know? Right. All right, I'm gonna put these Hold leftovers on. I'm gonna do some here. cheddar behind your back here. And we can also do a Perfect. little bit of cheddar on oh, there. there it is. And by yep. the way, if you wanted to leave those on the grill, you can Extra, melt that cheese very, oh, very easy. Can't forget green onions. You yeah, and I got some cilantro green. too. You yeah. wanna do some yeah. of that? Yeah. We'll do a little yeah. cilantro, just kind of throw that. Look how pretty, are you like a professional or something? Well, come on. Hey, I was an expediter for like, I was an expediter every 
Friday night I love and Saturday it. night for 12 years in a Italian steakhouse. So I used to have to cut the prime rib, put oh, it on the yeah. plate, make That's it look pretty. That's an important job. That is and a very hey, important job. Look at, would you be proud to serve that tray to your family? Absolutely. Damn I mean, straight you would. We look did at this. That. Three I served and that in a minutes. restaurant and people would love it. Oh my gosh. And yeah. we did this in three and a half minutes. Again, I'm just adding water to clean it up. Um, a great idea for you busy moms out there. What about grilled cheese quesadillas? Something so, <laughs> e I mean, it's like never ending ideas you can do, right? So just add your oil like I already did, cleaned it off. I'm gonna add oil here. I'm gonna put some of my tortillas down, add that shredded cheese that you had. And listen, I'm off on the race. This is easy. Look at this. It can't get any any easier hey, than this. We are busy. Tons of you guys are ordering it. I'm mm. so happy for you. That little QR code at the bottom of the 349 price right there. Take your camera from your uh, the camera app from your phone or your tablet. Take a don't even take a picture. Just hold it up. It'll lock it in. Take you right to HSN.com and mm. you can order this. We are getting dangerously low on all the colors right now. So if you want to really, you want something to look forward to this springtime. Yeah. Here it is. This is, this is this this is mm. a party mm. maker. This is the center of the party. This is and, it. And if you don't know how to cook, don't worry about this. It's much easier to use than a barbecue. You have controlled heat, no flame, no fire. Ooh, I'm gonna get wild. All right, I'm this individual leftover. burners on either side. Look at me here. I'm you using are, my leftover pulled pork. You're so smart. Waste I, not, want not. The See, baby's that's, not gonna want meat. That's she, a mom. She's, this is me. I'm like, hey, give me that meat. So give me that leftover pulled pork because I yeah, waste yeah, yeah. a knot. Waste oh, a knot. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. Yeah. I have mine on medium right now. Yeah. But hey, this is the fun of it. This is the ready? absolute fun Shut of it. That Look door. at that. Ready? Get, yeah, ready? Go ahead. Here we so go. now we've created a steam oven. That's and it. anything that we want it to melt is going to melt on the inside. You can't do that with a bar. I, I've said you can't do that with a barbecue grill a hundred times. Because you literally can't. You can't steam bake. You can't. I mean, you, you can You can melt stuff. It, but if you wanted to do it, the, you know, on those. No. It all goes into the grates. Wasting and, and then talk about the smell of your house, right? Yeah. Sometimes you just want, you don't want to smell all that stuff for hours upon hours. You're turning on the vent fan and all this stuff. I'm outside. This is easy. All right. Let's just flip it because we got a couple of minutes go, left. Go, go, go. I would honestly probably keep it on for a little longer, but I know hey, you would, but no, look, look, look pretty. pretty good. Look at that even hey, browning. Yo. Oh, look at that. What? Beautiful, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Add your sour cream, add your cheeses on top, your lettuce, your tomatoes, and you are in for an amazing lunch. Again, right. breakfast, lunch, dinner. We, we've done it all. We've, I, we've I'm going to tell you, you did a heck of a job. Thanks, that's, that's, well, we're, The best we're, sous chef in town. Well, we're working three grills right here. So if yep. we can work three, you can work one very, very that's easily. A great I don't want to hear that I'm afraid of it. It's too hard. It is not. And you. I'm not a chef. I am right. not a professional cook. I'm no. not a professional door griller. I mean, You're this is just me. I'm make, a mama. Who wants I to like make, to cook. Who wants to make good food for their family. I make family. people smile like that. All right, I. so here's what, here's what I'll tell you. On sale, $349, only $70. We'll drive it to your house, deliver it to your door. All you gotta do is add a propane tank. We're giving you a cover, two spatulas, scraper to clean the grill, two bottles, one to clean, one to add your oil. Everything that you need to have an incredible, incredible uh, springtime, summertime, and through the fall, through all year. I use this thing every day, I don't care. Get it home, 799-817. Mm. Taylor. <clears throat> All right, what am I doing? Am I talking to Taylor or am I doing the mess? <laughs> I'm saying goodbye You're to my good friend Taylor. To me. Look, one for you, one for me. One for me, one Thank for you. you. Love. I'll give you the one with the me. You are the best. Memory. And don't forget HP Month on hsn.com. We got all kinds of great stuff over there that you can pick up. Uh, so check it out. And uh, don't forget computers, tablets, whatever it is. And don't forget also uh, our, about our good friend Andrew Lessman. He's got a great special, something uh, I haven't seen before. He's going to take over for a minute or two, and then I'm going to run inside, and we're going to clean it up. All right? Thank you, guys. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, America. We'll see you in a bit. Hi there. Andrew Lesman with a quick word about a really exciting new product. Um, it's a product that I've been asked about for decades. It's a product that, as much as it sounds like it should be simple to make, it's not easy to make. Um, even if you just look at olive fruit, uh, the way they process those to get them to market isn't very pretty. So when we're talking about making a product that delivers the protective compounds from both olive fruit and olive leaf, 
it's complicated to identify those ingredients, to make sure those ingredients and their benefits are preserved, make sure they're stable, uh, make sure that when you swallow the capsule, you're going to be enjoying the benefits. Wasn't easy to do. Um, this product is standard, standardized for allurapine uh, and also for hydroxytyrosol, uh, two of the most important protective compounds present in, in any healthy Mediterranean diet, which if there's one thing that's become very clear in the last couple of decades, is that perhaps the healthiest diet that we could all try to embrace is something that runs or goes along the lines of the uh, Mediterranean diet. The moderation that's present there in terms of all the healthy protective compounds that are ingested and limiting the less than healthy compounds we human beings sometimes tend to ingest. And when it comes to protective compounds, it's hard to find a richer source than olive fruit. When we look at olive oil, it's not the fats in olive oil that exert their beneficial effect. Certainly we talk about monosaturates and things like that. It plays a role when they displace other less healthy fats, but really what makes olive oil healthy, extra virgin olive oil, is the presence of those polyphenols, those protective compounds. And the top of those lists are going to be allurapine and also the hydroxytyrosol that we're talking about in this olive complex. So if you want to enjoy the result of a couple of decades of hard work, finding the best source, and to do it in a way where, as I said, we try to do things where we follow Mother Nature and we get out of her way. Uh, unlike olive fruit and certain other olive products, this is not processed, this is not going to